Uh, this is a check uh, issued to Jesse Krzyzewski. To Jesse Krzyzewski. Jesse Krzyzewski. amount of $9,900. That amount of $9,103,000. Do you recall how many checks you followed out of Lynn's Money Market account? I believe there were a total of 21 checks. One was for Lynn Hernan's purchase of a Jeep in 2016. The other 20 checks were checks written to Jesse Krzyzewski. Totaling more than $134,000. Hours upon hours upon hours. A Waukesha County detective testified about financial details, which were eye-opening as detectives pieced together Krzyzewski's and Hernan's purchase patterns. Almost all of our transactions occurred uh, in the Waukesha County area. The woman who didn't own a computer rarely used a credit card, nor knew how to use a smartphone. But by the time Hernan died in October 2018, her accounts showed consistent, unusual trends in money transfers and online payments. It's definitely out of the ordinary. But records show a common denominator was where the money was going. Jesse Krzyzewski. Did any of those 20 checks appear to go to the purpose written in the memo line? None that we could find. Thousands of dollars spent at Milwaukee County bars, payday loans, Potawatomi Casino, credit cards, ATM withdrawals from Krzyzewski's bank accounts. While Hernan was in the hospital, her bank accounts showed $4,300 worth of debit transactions. And by the time Hernan died days later, her $250,000 inheritance from her mother's death was virtually gone. And when Hernan's bank accounts were closed... What's the total amount of that check? Uh, $88.76. Detectives also found forged bank documents in Lynn Hernan's name used by Krzyzewski to obtain loans in Hernan's name in the months before Hernan died. Do you believe Ms. Hernan was capable of altering those documents? I do not.